How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews back with a little bit of home delivery. That's right. You know, sometimes when the world, the universe, gives you lemons, you should make lemonade or Rattler. And, um, you know, we're in the middle of the whole COVID-19 kind of self-distancing thing. With that um, comes the new ability, especially in the state of New Jersey here, to where breweries can actually deliver directly to your home. Um, so a couple things. One, that's awesome. You know, especially in this environment, uh, just makes it that much safer for everybody else. Um, and, you know, in the grand scheme of things, I opened the door and beer was there. I mean, the delivery part's awesome, but the fact that beer's just there um, when uh, when you open the door. And, most importantly, you get to support local. It's one of the cooler things, I guess, you could take away from this whole kind of process that's going down. A lot of people, there's a lot of local uh, support. Um, you know, the first video I kind of put up when all this stuff started to really kick off in the United States, um, you know, trying to keep it more beer-centric and not really kind of talk about, you know, um, COVID in and of itself and what's going on. It's just support local. You know what I mean? Do what you can to keep your breweries up and afloat um, because that's what they need. They need um, their local support now more than ever. And this comes from Zigmeister. Probably the closest brewery to me. Well, there's one closer, but it's more like a brew pub. Um, and this is their Imperial IPA. It's, it's part of their Abyss series. This is their Endless Collector. 8.6% alcohol by volume. I think that's it as far as dating on this. Um, this was canned five days ago. So it's very, very old. Um, yeah. Uh, Master your craft. Bum, bum, bum. Heck, sound New Jersey. Dun, dun, let's dive in the sucker. I don't remember the last... I actually, I lie. I remember the last Zigmeister beer I reviewed. I believe it was their minor black IPA. I have not uploaded that yet. So I'll probably do this and that one up at the same time. So we'll see what's what. It's been a while since I've done a hazy review from Zigmeister. So we'll see what's what. First things first. Label-wise. Never been a huge fan of Zigmeister labels. Um, they've gotten a little bit kind of nicer, at least for me, um, as of late. But still, not my favorite labels in the history of mankind. But that doesn't mean the beer is not going to be good. Now, what does that look like? That, my friends, is what we call turkey gravy. Well, I should say more like almost turkey gravy. Butternut squash soup, uh, half a pinky finger, um, relatively tight compact head for what's actually there. And it's got that rich kind of New England style hazy glow, as you can see right here. Definitely says Imperial New England style. So, yeah. They're definitely nailing that portion of the show. So, yeah, she looks like a like an Imperial hazy. Let's get a nose. That smells like an imperial a hazy, a green leaning citrus, fruit medley citrus leading the way, kind of New England style hazy. Smells quite nice, actually. Yeah, you get that nice big kind of sweetened, kind of almost confectionery kind of like um, citrus component in there kind of floating around. That's fun. Who, who doesn't hate that? Or who doesn't like that, I should say. Um... And then you get that greenness. I mean, that's the first thing that really jumped out to me. But on the second whiff, it wasn't nearly as big. Uh, so kind of acclimating to that kind of part of the nose real quick. That's pretty much all you got. It doesn't smell huge. It doesn't smell super dense. I mean, you're talking about an Imperial IPA. It's 8.6. That's actually probably in the lower end of things when people call Imperial nowadays. That used to be almost triple IPA range. But anyway, yeah. It smells a part of a nice, well done, relatively fresh green kind of hazy. Let's dive in. Cheers. I mean, it pretty much follows suit exactly to the nose, except you get this gob of, like, not even just, like, stone fruit peachiness. You get, like, almost like it's, like, gummy candy marmalade -y peachiness. It's very, very cool. I did not expect it, and I didn't really get it at the first sip. So that really comes through. That's very, very, very cool. So first things first, mouth feels nice. It's got a nice kind of effervescence to it. A nice kind of carbonation, a little bit sprightly, if you will. It doesn't come off nearly as dense as you would expect, especially based off a look at a beer. That green portion show is definitely there, but it doesn't like really kind of grab you by the back of the hair and neck or whatever, and really kind of ring it into you. It's there. It's present. I dig it, but it's not like a hot burn thing. It's just a green kind of thing. So I'm a fan. Now, that fruit comes in. Like I said, when I took a first sip, I was like, okay, it's giving you that citrus component. And there's that nice kind of fruit medley. Nothing too crazy. Here comes all the peaches. So it really does kind of follow up that kind of soft citrus that the nose leads you to believe the whole beer is going to be about. 
and really does toss fistful of peach candies, peach gummy candies at your face in a very cool way. This is very tasty. This is very, very tasty. I mean, that escalation from, uh, from, uh, I freaked out because I felt something on my arm. My dog, I just pulled a tick off my dog. I'm like, I'm going to get a tick. It's a scratch. Um, anyway, um, escalation. So it kind of sets you up in the nose. Okay, you're soft. Fruit medley, citrus leaning. Okay, get that green on the taste and take the sip. And you're like, okay, there's that green. Okay, there's that citrus. And then bang, it hits you with those peaches. That's a nice little one-two punch to have going there. And you don't see it coming. And it comes off in a very fun, vibrant, like I said, it's somewhere beyond a fresh fruity kind of peachiness but still in an organic way like i said peach ring kind of jamminess kind of component that really kind of puts a very distinct personality on this beer makes it very unique in and of itself because i remember having that aggressive of that kind of peach ringiness in a beer in quite some time and it's one of my favorite kind of components when it comes to beer so i really dig this i think it's fun i think it's tasty it drinks at its weight class it doesn't drink lower than eight and a half it doesn't drink much higher than that but you know what you're drinking you know the impact you're drinking just a really fun beer honestly i'm a really big fan of their pale ale which is their falconer um you know i enjoy it i've sent it off to a couple of people as mystery beers in general everybody really does dig it it's a sub five percent kind of hazy uh pale ale and that's been my favorite kind of um, New England hazy style that they've done. Some of the stuff has been hit or miss for me when it comes to the hazy game. This is by far and away the best one I've had from these guys. I mean, it, they've slowly escalated their game when it comes to the hazy game, but this is kind of like next level from what I typically have from them. So good on you guys, Zigmeister. It doesn't suck when it kind of arrives at your doorstep like a magic, delicious fairy, but... What are you going to do? Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's talk about it. Is this one of the better double IPAs that I've had as late? Yeah, it is. Um, might not attain Mount Rushmore status, um, but it's definitely delicious and definitely is giving me a lot of what a lot of people are missing and a lot of the New England game, more specifically when they get in a higher ABV nowadays, and that's a personality. This is very distinct, very unique in and of itself. Not that I haven't had these flavors before, but it, 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 they're so few and far between as of late. It's a welcoming sight and taste and smell to actually get those bag and availability i think i would paid 17 bucks for a four pack of this it's kind of market value nowadays i'm not gonna bitch and moan especially since it was delivered directly to my house um and leave you with if you like what will you like this if you like new school new england style hazies of the imperial variety you want something impactful has a little bit of green and definitely has a distinct personality to it this is definitely gonna be up there for you you know like i said it is not the end all be all of imperial hazies but that's a very hard nut to crack this gets pretty damn close to have something this pretty damn close that not only gets delivered to your door but it's relatively close to me down the street and something you can pick up at a store or something like that that does not suck so there you go another review in the books hopefully you guys enjoyed it down there if you want to talk about it massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff beer massive you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing and hopefully you guys enjoyed the review hopefully you're enjoying a little hazy right now hopefully see you next time cheers